Welcome back to another episode of Crash Cave, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I'm having a great one myself. In the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff, mostly uh, surrounding getting all this up and running and automating a few things. In between episodes, I just had I just had to clean up a few things. So let's quickly go through and show you what I did. I removed uh, one row of the sifters. I replaced all of these with diamond meshes. I then cleaned this up a little bit. I had a creeper explode, so it kind of <laughs> required me to move a few things. Anyways, I just beautified the place a little bit, getting ready to expand our base out this way for other contraptions. Also, you may have noticed we we're getting red loot bags. Well, those red loot bags, <clears throat> they will eventually be valuable. My understanding is I don't know if we can look inside of here. I don't know if it tells you what's in here. I look, I looked it up and I think uh, <laughs> loot. It doesn't really say here, but anyways, I'm pretty sure these will turn into nether stars eventually. So I'm just running them in a loop and they're basically opening and opening and opening. And what happens every time you open it, it gives you another red loot bag back. Uh, and I think it's like a one in 10,000 chance you're gonna get something good. Also, we got some ore berries. I'm not sure how this works yet. Uh, so I just placed these down here. This one seems to have grown a bit. Uh, they, you get that from sifting dirt in, in uh, diamond meshes. So I've been kind of just processing this manually, putting stuff in here, sifting. It's actually pretty slow. The sifter sucks. So I've been manually sifting. It's a little bit faster right now. So I don't know. We'll have to come up with a better solution for that. Anyways. Guys, if you like these videos, make sure you bang on the like button down below. Woo! Crash that subscribe button. Woo! <laughs> <I will. laughs> All right, if you haven't done so already. So in today's episode, let's go back to the quest book here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that was pretty much it. I just did a bunch of cleanup. It was just getting a little crazy, and I wanted to make sure we start today's episode on a good note. Uh, yeah. Today's episode will take place in here. Year, I think we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Anyways, let's take a look at the quest book. Ah, we already have it up. So I was looking at doing two things. Today we're gonna pop into the Nether real quick, and then the second thing we're gonna do is uh, I was gonna do some of these. We can probably get most of these done, power generation, and get the loot drops. It might be worth it. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it, but I thought it'd be fun to start in on the mystical agriculture because you, it, it, there's some pretty powerful stuff in here if you're smart about how you do it. Also, we can we can start in on the storage, but I'm not going to do that in this episode. We're going to focus on on the uh, mystical agriculture, which I think is you know it's just a fun thing to do. Now, the automation of mystical agriculture will require us to get into some farming stuff. Also, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll probably need to make this farming station, which means buy metal gear. What is buy metal gear? Infinite. Wow. Is this the new Ender IO? This whole grains of infinity stuff? This right here, by the way, is a good reason why uh, I want to get into the uh, Infernium stuff because we are getting this very slowly. We have 11, but it's used in everything so if we want to do any ender io and without bedrock <laughs> we're screwed man we gotta we gotta make some plants so uh let's grab some prosperity shards let's take a quick look around and see if we have any in here i'm pretty sure we oh yeah there's a few right there let's grab those let's grab these and we don't have a ton so 49 let's just, just jump on in and claim some quests man sweet all right claim that and done. All right, mystical agriculture is underway. Infernium. Uh, well, we definitely have <laughs> we definitely have lots of infernium. I can say that for sure. We got stacks upon stacks upon stacks of infernium. Yeah. That is not a problem. We're getting that uh, by the butt ton, which is nice because we're going to need it. And this is where it gets interesting. Um, we need to make an infusion crystal. But now we're going to start kind of progressing down the chart and making ores and thing of bobbers like that. And then on this way, we actually start getting into the uh, furnaces, which are pretty powerful, if I remember. So let's just go ahead and let's make, let's just look at <laughs> essence, essence ingot, uh, essence ingot. There we go. What do we need for this? Okay, so. 
iron ingots and those and how many did we need how many did we need uh we just need one all right let's go ahead and grab one iron also i've been smelting up a bunch of stuff <laughs> just grab all that iron because we might need to do something with that uh okay so let's go ahead and craft uh i'm not sure why the obsidian is there but whatever let's craft up 12 bam okay 12 of those ingots which is great let's detect that mm, get in my belly done okay now the infernium ingot now this goes to, towards making tools and armor and a bunch of other stuff uh, but we'll just use it because we want to unlock the quest now crafting seed base crafting seed i may have pooched myself a little bit by using all that base crafting base crafting seed where is it right there aha okay so we need we need some of those shards now let's just take a quick look at which i think it's sand is it sand let's click here click here sifting uh it is sand all right so let's grab ourselves one of these guys perfect oh we got it. grab 64 is there an invisible item there is this item is disabled okay get rid of whatever that is it's hogging up my inventory uh all right boom all right let's do this let's make or try to get some of these shards uh, hopefully there's enough here i've also been collecting a bunch of the wands and on top of that i think there is a power generator that we might want to use we might want to make a power bank or power cell it's possible because they might have some rf stuff that we could use uh sorry uh, some um wireless rf uh, which would be good for charging up the wands because we have a lot of wands that are quite uh yeah quite powerful to be honest with you and if we had them working it might be beneficial okay so let's see what we got here let's hope we got a few shards yes we got 24 shards and a bunch of ores uh, i'm kind of running out of storage space for the ore so let's toss all these in there looks like we got some seeds as well and let's get rid of you and i don't need you i was doing a little bit of decoration you can see that in the chisel and bitsies uh, which is great let's let's go ahead and pop these open a flask of fleet feet more of the conduit craps <gasps> whoa 64k me these are really good that was a superb find uh that makes me uh supremely excited uh, where is all these things boop these might i don't know i'm still trying to figure out if we're gonna use those for anything so that's awesome that's 64k upgrade that really that makes me lean towards doing some some emmy stuff anyways we're not going to do storage today we're going to focus focus crash focus man okay we need some just some good old-fashioned grass seeds uh and those are here we actually don't necessarily have a lot and there's some more here <laughs> seeds who needs seeds actually they're pretty easy to get because we have bone meal so let's grab that oh there's more inferno messes here let's grab that as well all right so we can just go ahead and bone meal this grass area bam and let's get rid of the torches i don't know where i've been having spawn problems so uh, i've been just trying to keep it down uh actually we get all the flowers in this biome it seems like oh yeah and these ore berries i'm really curious to see how they work are you full size now you are kind of maybe not Maybe mostly full size. Uh, also, we should be getting canola seeds and corn seeds from harvesting this grass. Also, I think that was cotton, if I'm not mistaken. Cotton seeds. Uh, by the way, if you middle mouse click, it sorts your inventory. Hemp seeds, cotton seeds, and corn kernels. Right, so that's good. Uh, plus just the regular old-fashioned seeds as well, I believe. Like grass seeds. I think that's a thing, right? Are we getting more grass seeds? We got 12. Maybe we aren't. No, we are. There we are. Okay, good. All right, all right, all right. Good. So, anyways, I think that's a good enough start for now. Okay, one infusion crystal. So, an infusion crystal allows us to do this, I believe. Wait, is it just... Maybe it's this way. Aha, right. Okay, so it's, it's four to one. So, it's 32 to one. Oh, wow. That's quite a lot when you think about it. It's, it's a lot. So, now we can make Prudentium if we want to so we can make eight of those so if i was to put four stacks of we gotta be careful because we don't we're not able to make a lot of this just yet and we need the seeds so we're not going 
You know what? Let's just split this in two stacks like this and make a bunch of those. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and detect that we've made the next tier, which is Prudentium. Let's detect and claim that. So this part's pretty easy. Uh, getting all these rewards, we can pretty much crank away and get to the top. Easy Black Lotus. Ooh, Black Lotus emits strong vibes. Um, but we, we still want to be careful not to overuse stuff. Now, we can go ahead and do this. And we can get one of these. And one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, th three. That should be enough. Get to the next tier. Okay, let's claim those. Okay, and then we'll go like this. We'll split the stacks up, and then we should be able to make eight of those. And so in eight, let's see. So this tier two seed, if we were to surround it with eight. Aha, so the best we can do right now is a tier three seed. That's pretty darn good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I think the best uh, tier four crab seed. The best I can do while well, I, I managed to get to supremium, uh, where, where we go in terms of making just the one. I can get this right. Is it gonna is it gonna work? Not gonna work. Is it not gonna work because it's not full right now? Oh wait, it's not in my inventory. <laughs> there we go. Um, detect. Get these loot chests. Nice. Okay. Uh, so I managed to get all the way up to Supremium. We're one way away, one step away from Insanium. Uh, the on the crafting side, I managed to get to tier four. So that means if we look at uh, where we are seed wise, this is one, two, three, four. Uh, so we got to the blue level. There's two more to go, uh, but this this is it. This is it. It's the best I can do right now. I don't think I have enough essence to go any further. So let's take a look at what we got. Aha, uh -huh. overclocker upgrade for industrial transformer. Ooh, those might be good. Those may be good. All right, let's toss you away. All right, organize. Ooh, keep that. Now, we need a hoe. We need a hoe. We don't need a fancy hoe. We just need a hoe. Grab some sticks. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah, no, we'll just go ahead and make a simple one. Uh, <laughs> I can make an emerald hoe, I bet. <laughs> I could probably make an emerald hoe if I wanted to. Oh, that would be so funny. What a waste that would be. Uh, kind of shocked, actually, that we haven't picked up anything. I, I didn't even... I didn't even... Do we not even have any cobblestone? Let's just grab some iron. Actually, we have iron on us. Iron hoe it is. It'll last a little while longer. So one, two... Uh, sorry, not like that. And one, two. Let's go ahead and do this. I've already prepped this area uh, to be a maximum... Well, it's not a maximum, it's a min-max right now. Let's go ahead and harvest that. We'll place that seed in here. I don't think, yeah, see we can't, this this is not affected by bone meal. Did this do anything yet? Uh, it's not affected by bone, bone meal. It might be affected by the time wand. And I believe it's possible. Let's grab, we had some special, what the heck is that? Climbing gloves, cool. We're we are we're giving away and giving up on so many good things right now by not opening those loot bags. Mystical agriculture. Yeah, so this I believe whoa. What what? Oh, is it not it might be oh um it's possible it's not light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Perfect. But it's not is it giving me the seeds or is it gonna be I was hoping it would give us seeds as well. Okay, I want to take a look at this power cell real quick. I believe it's the simple one. Uh, we should be able to make this pretty easily. It involves a few nuggets, iron, which we should have, and what else is there? Some redstone blocks, which we should have plenty of now. Four redstone blocks. So let's grab that, and we'll make some of those over here. Like a so. Okay, bam. Okay, what else was it we needed? Redstone blocks, two diamonds, which I believe we have enough of now. Let's see here. Two diamonds. Come here, you. Okay. And a machine frame, which is some lapis. Definitely got a lot of lapis. No worries, but there. Gold ingots. All right, let's go ahead and make the machine frame. Make a couple since we're here. 
Uh, and then we need some quartz. Aha! Okay, so quartz. Ah, quartz, 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 quartz. Now. No, we don't. Okay. That's fine. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. We have six more. Okay, and we'll do this like this. The ugliest little thing ever. There we go. Now. Mm, in theory... Let's just see here. Let's place this down. Simple power cell. Okay, let's grab this for a second. Huh? So, what? How does this work? In. Okay. Ah, it's charging. Okay, so it's charging right now. Side output. Oh, okay. Energy, side output, out. How does this work? Okay, so it's storing a bunch out in stats. Inserted. Okay, research. Open manual. Power cell can store power. There are normal and advanced versions. The advanced version can store more power. It can be also transfer power faster. Every side of the power cell can be configured with a wrench. Input, output, none. Or you can set all sides once using the GUI. Also charge items that use RF. Okay. But what if I do this? So if I put this in here, how does this work? Can I, can I place this in here? Ah, oh, oh, that's so cool. It's not wireless. It's not wireless, but okay. But we can charge our wands inside of it. Oh, I like that. Okay, so this one's done. Okay, do we, uh, we're not gonna get any seeds, are we? <gasps> no, yes, yes! Oh, that is so good. Okay, what about this one? Can we do it on here? No, these are immune. Oh no, that one's not. Ha. Huh. Okay, what are, we, what are we getting out of this stuff? Okay, uh, let's go put some things away. Ouch, the berries hurts. Let's uh, put away this. Let's um, get this dirt in here. Nope, not there. Give me that back. Uh, let's put the dirt in. Nope, not that. There. Okay. Let's put this away. And then we'll recharge this thing. So if we could get like a wireless charger on us, that would be amazing. I think it would automatically charge the stuff up. But what is this? And how Concentrated essence berry. Tastes like creeper. Tastes like creeper. Can I eat it? <gasps> oh, it's EXP! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, so can I eat the ore berries? Wait. No, I can't eat the iron berries. Weird. I don't know how the other ones work yet. Anyways. Okay, so apparently it's not dropping a seed, or there's a, like a very small chance it's going to drop a seed or something. I think I can hold it down. There we go. The click on the right spot. Seems like I have to move the wand around a little bit. 57. Oh, I see. There's stages that aren't aren't mature. Okay, this is pretty powerful. So we're getting four infernium per tick. So we need a lot. We need four per stage. Uh, so we need a lot of this to make another seed. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, we're not getting any bonus seeds, which is too bad. See, they're all still level one. I'm not getting seeds anymore. All right, it's the next day. I did a little bit of work. Uh, this is slow, man. Like this, it, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's they changed something, but it's really hard to get seeds, and it's super, super freaking slow. Like just like getting this, getting enough materials to actually make the infernium seeds oh it's it's bad so right now it's just it's a kind of a waiting game i mean in here yeah i guess so we got five stacks i could probably make some more seeds uh the next thing we're gonna need to look at is like automation right uh and there's a few i think if i go farmer i've never used this actually additions farmer so why don't we take a look at that we need inori crystal blocks and an iron casing. Now we have everything to make all of this. 
And we have seeds. So, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Oh, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I know I kind of went a little mental what can I say <laughs> so this is basically almost every single item you can possibly get out of a loot bag uh, it's pretty it's ugly but it's pretty I don't know it's just weird <laughs> anyway so why I brought you guys over here is we're actually uh, gonna go look inside of here so we need these Inori crystals and without going into that hole in what is it i don't know what is the mod pack called actually additions i don't really want to go into the mod pack so we're going to grab as many of these as we can and i believe in, there are some crystals somewhere i want to say there it is nori crystal blocks we actually don't need these crystals so let's put those away grab you i think we needed four right was it four? I think it's four. Yeah, perfect. And then we need some black quartz. So anyways, the reason why I made this, the long, the long and the short is I wanted to skip. <laughs> I wanted to skip <laughs> doing what you needed to make this Inori crystal. So if you look at here, it's a whole process of how you make it. You got to, okay, let's just do this here. <laughs> you have to like do this atomic resonator block of iron, you know, and like on hindsight, the atomic resonator is like freaking easy to make. Okay. So <laughs> this took four hours. That atomic resonator would probably have taken four minutes. Okay. <laughs> but it's cool. All right. So I think we've got enough stuff now. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Also, I moved the majority of the bags that were here into this uh, loot bag storage system all you do is you just basically put a bag into this slot and then it stores it and then you can cycle the bags and pick which one you want to extract way better system we're going to automate this so we don't see this uh at all it's just going to get all the loot bags that we put in here and then we'll just pull out the ones we want and then we can put it through this loot bag opener and then all the stuff will get stored appropriately <laughs> I just, you know what some days Life doesn't make any sense. What what can I say? What can I say? Uh, I do believe we have seeds. Yeah, there we go. So it's it's not bad actually because there is a lot of stuff in the loot bags that is quite useful. And uh, anyways, we don't have to worry about food anymore. And there's a bunch of ores that are actually pretty valuable. Some of these in here, like this one right here, for example, the pulsating iron. I mean that that allows us to do some bypassing and with this bag um compressor i can go to the high-end loot bags and that's what generates basically all the best stores anyways okay enough talking crash let's get to this here uh we're, we're low on time here so i need a casing let's make one of these casings and then we can go ahead and do this all right and now oh i guess the other the other really cool thing is <laughs> look at all the power units we've gotten 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 I mean like we that <laughs> oh, it's amazing like we we've got so many power units now uh I don't know what to say now I think I'm not sure how this works at all so let's just look let's just read the book here I love I love actually editions how they do this the farmer is a block that can be once placed can once placed in the world plant and harvest different blah blah blahs okay i don't know if it's going to work on uh more i'm going to actually pull this up on my other screen uh seeds other things should be planted the right side while the right side will contain the harvested goods uh in front of it it will harvest a nine by nine grid in front of it so i don't know what constitutes the front i'm sorry i said that really fast so let's let's assume if i place it down this way that looks like it would be like the front, right? It kind of would make sense. I think they would say, yeah, go this way. Uh, so let's let's uh, take these guys, or a, a guy. Um, I think I can just put it on there, right? Yes, okay, perfect. Flux crystal, so I could probably put one in there too, right? Mm. Crystal flux. Okay. Anyways, guys, that is it. I am super way over on time. If you like this video, you know what to do. Make sure you bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button. And as always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. My name is Crash, and I'm flying, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>